Owner is dreading. There are rumblings that we're set for another rate rise, interest rate rise, which would put uh, rates up to 6%. So why do they keep going up and what should people do if they're worrying about paying their mortgage? Well, David Braithwaite is a financial advisor. Good morning Good to morning. you. Just remind us, uh, first of all, then, why we are expecting another interest rate rise. It's because we're spending too much, basically. The actual underlying rate of inflation is still going up slightly. They're hoping that when we have the rate rise that we've had, and we've had now five since last August, it would stop people spending a little bit, curb a little bit of what we're spending our money on, and hopefully the underlying rate of inflation would reduce. But unfortunately, it hasn't done as quickly as people thought that it should have done. No, so we can then expect, you think, another the rate rise? Unfortunately, I think it's on the cards, yes. Whether well, it's going to happen next month, but maybe September, October time, I think, unfortunately, yes, we're going to see a pound costing us more, basically. Another quarter percent? Another quarter percent, yep. So we're looking at 6%, which would be the highest time. So it's 6%. It's in six years is the highest time it's been since 2001. It's not looking good, unfortunately, for people that have got mortgages. No. I mean, still relatively low when we look back uh, um, just a few years really um, well, we all remember those times but in terms of people who have been overextending themselves we all know about that with house uh, price uh, increases what sort of impact could this extra quarter percent have do you think it won't make an awful lot of difference the extra quarter percent but the problem is going to be a lot of people a couple of years ago did very low two-year fixed rate mortgages there's about two million people are going to be coming off of those between now and the end of the year the difficulty is now shopping around for these mortgages the rates will be so much higher it's it's going to be a big hike to them. So somebody coming off an ordinary rate mortgage that was done a couple of years ago to now a variable rate of £200,000 borrowing is going to see their payments go up by about £190 a month. So the key is not panic for starters and actually take advice, take some time out, do some budget planning and try and make it fit as best that you can. And at the end of the day, talk to people, get advice on it and actually do something about it rather than thinking, oh, crikey, the rates are going to go up, what am I going to do? If you plan ahead now, you can be a lot more prepared for it and you can sort it all out way before it comes as a bit of a panic to people, which unfortunately I think for a lot of people it is. Although good news for savers. That's the flip side, yeah, that's the good thing. It's good news for savers, but unfortunately the most people that are probably watching this are thinking mortgages, house prices are going up. It's always a bit of a panic, isn't it, that's unfortunately? That's the big crunch. All right, David, thank you very much thank you. indeed. Thank you. Quarter past eight, still...